Hey guys, it's uh, this is Math 7, Chapter 2, Part, or Chapter 12, Part 2, uh, Mean. So the mean is the, what is happening here? The mean is a measure of, wow, sorry, I'm a little behind here. Okay, a mean is a central of measure, or measure of central tendency, which don't worry about that right now. So the mean equals uh, equals the average, okay? It's just a fancy word for average. So you can remember it this way. Teachers are mean and teachers use the average. So teachers are mean, teachers use the average. So when we have the average, if you got a, a six, an eight and a four, then you add them up. So six plus eight equals 14 plus four equals 18. 18 divided by three equals six. So if we have 10, we have and 15, and we have 20. So the average is 10 plus 15 plus 20. We'll do that. And 20 equals uh, 30, 45 divided by three equals 15. Now it doesn't always have to be divided by three, but there's three numbers here. So that's why we're dividing by three. So let's do this one here. We've got the daily sales at more movies for the first week of the DVD release. The threat of the brain snatchers is shown in the table. So what's the mean, the daily mean for uh, sales from Monday through Saturday? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six days. We're going to add them up because we need the total first. So when we add them up, we've got a zero in the first one. Four plus nine is 13 plus eight is 21, 30, 31, 33. So we'll put the three here. We'll put the three up here. That's a four, five, six. So 630. So there were 630 total sales. 630 divided by six days equals 105 per day. Do you see how that works? We have six on the bottom. So there's now one per one day. So 105 per day. Okay. Now, how many more sales will be needed on Sunday if more movies hopes to have a daily mean of 100? So if you want the mean to be 100 per day, and how do we get this to uh, one week? So there's, there's seven days. So how do we get one day to seven? We times it by seven. So what do we do to the top? We times it by seven, just like we've been doing all year long. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. Whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom. Okay, so we would have to have seven. We already know that we have 630 here. This is a six, sorry. If we need 700 total, that's 700 minus 630. That means on Sunday, we will need 70 sales to average 100 per week, per day, sorry. So pause this, figure it out on your own, and then come back and we'll, we'll go over it here. So I hope you've paused it and you're, this is now coming back. We've got seven plus eight. Do we have, we don't have to put them in order, right? Because it's not, um, it's not mode. It's just average. So seven plus six plus eight plus nine plus nine plus five plus seven plus seven plus eight plus four equals 70. So when, when you add all this up, it equals 70. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 70 divided by 10. The mean of it is seven. If we add these up, there's 300, 400, 250, 250, 300, that's zero, carry the one, that's a four, that's eight, 10, 12, 1,500. So 1,500 <clears throat> divided by, there's five numbers there, equals 300 as the average here. So if we have the next one, uh, scientists recorded the daily inches by spawning salmon for five days. This is how far they've traveled. This is how many days. So five days, this is how far they traveled. The mean, 44 
plus 52, plus 51, plus 46, plus 57. Let's add it up over here so you can see 6, 7, 13, 20. Carry the 2, 6, 11, 16, 20, 25. So 250 divided by 5 equals 50 per day. Okay, we've got 50 days over here. We are 250 kilometers, so 50 kilometers per day. Now, so how far would you expect the travel, salmon to travel in the next 10 days? So if we have 10 days, sorry, I'll fix that. 10 days, assume the salmon have not reached its spawning destination. So 10 days at 50 kilometers per day. equals 10 times 5 equals 5 whoa 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 500 kilometers you you expect the salmon to travel the next 10 days 500 kilometers over the next 10 days because they've gone 50 kilometers a day so chinook salmon may travel 8000 kilometers from its feeding ground how many days would you predict this journey takes based on the daily mean you calculated in in a so we we know it's going to be 8000 kilometers and we're going to divide that by 50 kilometers per day. Now, you haven't learned this, but when it's a fraction on a fraction, that fraction goes up here. So we'll end up with days. So 8,000 divided by 50, we cross out 10, 800 divided by 5. 80 divided by 5 is 16. So 160 days is how far how long it will take for them to go from wherever they start all the way through so 8000 divided by 50 is 160 days your questions page 431 432 3689 1013 again check your answers make sure you're checking your answers in the back of the book also if you're confused and you need more questions, do more questions. Don't just like jump into the exam uh, without being ready. Okay, good luck.